Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. In today's journey, we are still on our North Coast excursion. I have no doubt that you have been enjoying this journey so far. So, continue to sit back. Continue to relax and continue to enjoy this journey with me so as promised this is our second video for today this is part two the stories were too much to hold in one video if you missed the earlier video ensure that you go back and watch it now this first incident it took place thursday night august 25th 2022 about 11 o'clock it took place at waterworks in the parish of westmoreland we are learning that a house owned by a 71-year-old man, it was burnt down. It is suspected that that fire is the work of arsonists. We are told that a vehicle was heard throttling near to the house. As soon as the vehicle drove away, the house was seen on fire. The fire personnel and the police, they were informed. But when the fire personnel responded, they were only able to do cooling down operation because the house which was made out of board, it was completely destroyed by fire. We are told that an investigation is being done to ascertain who set this house on fire. In this next incident, my viewers, my subscribers, we all have our part to play in the fight against crime and violence in Jamaica. Yes, we can criticize and we can say others not doing their jobs, we can cuss Andrew Holness and we can say, yes, he had promised us that under his regime, we would be able to sleep with our windows and our doors open. We can cuss Mark Golden and we can say, he did not support the state of emergency. We can cuss Dr. Horace Chang. We can cuss the commissioner of police. But then what? All of those persons, they have 24 hour security. We are the ones who are left to the mercy of these hoodlums. So the question is, what are we doing to cauterize what is happening in our beautiful island? Yes, it is true. If you go down a station and give some police officers information, it is likely that that information will be leaked. But guess what? You don't have to go down a station. No, you know, if you go down a station and go give no police, no information. You can stay in your bedroom. You can stay in your car. You can stay in your shop and do it. You can call 119. You can call 311. Or you can contact the Jamaica Defense Force via their tip line. You can send them a WhatsApp message at 876 837 8888. That's 876 837 8888. Eight, eight. Some of us are too accommodating. We see a stranger come in our area and we take it for granted that they are good. Pretty soon, that good stranger turn on the community. Well, the intelligencers at a place named Blenheim in the Kingsville Police area in the parish of Hanover, they did the good thing. They saw a stranger in their area and they did what it takes to protect their community. As a result of what they did, the police carried out a raid in the area yesterday afternoon. Friday, August 26th, 2022, about 2.30. A one-bedroom house was searched and a hoodlum who is wanted by the police in Kingston for a murder committed at Waterhouse in Kingston. He was picked up. We are unable to give you his full name because we don't want to jeopardize the police investigation, but... The Sudlum, he's popularly known as Cooley. He's said to be in his late 20s. We are told that he's from a place named Cuban Lane in the Waterhouse area. Now, Cooley, he was taken into police custody and he will be sent to Kingston where he will be interviewed and most likely he'll be charged for the offence of murder. We would like to say congratulations to the intelligencers for passing on the intelligence and enough respect to the Kingsville police for acting on this intelligence 
and bringing this hoodlum into police custody. Job well done. In this next incident, it took place early yesterday morning. Friday, August 26th, 2022, about 7.30. It took place at Geneva District in the Grangel area in the parish of Westmoreland. We are told that a group of persons, they were sitting in a yard at Geneva District. They were sitting and having a conversation. Among the group was a youngster named Oshani Shah. He is popularly known as Rupi and he is 19 years old. Rupi, he was living at a neighboring community named Alma District in the same Grangel area. So like we said, Rupi, he was amongst a group of persons sitting in the yard and having a conversation when a group of heavily armed hoodlums invaded the yard. The hoodlums, they opened fire on the group of persons in the yard. The persons, they ran off in separate directions. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape on foot in the area. When the smoke was cleared, it was discovered that Rupi, he was shot. He had received gunshot wounds to his head and his upper body. From all indication, Rupi, he died on the spot. The police were informed and when they processed this crime scene, we are told that eight 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Oh, you remember now. Love button, touch. Thumbs up button, touch. Yeah, man, keep on doing the good thing. That's how the channel is promoted, you know. Who no want to touch it? For them business. But you, our genuine subscribers, keep on doing the good thing. Keep on telling a friend to tell a friend. Yeah, man, keep on doing it. And if you are over here and you have not yet subscribed, remember, hit on the subscribe button. As also, hit on the notification bell. Then click all, so that whenever we upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. In the final story for today, Westmoreland. The parish of Westmoreland is bleeding. The parish of Westmoreland will soon take over from the parish of St. James as the murder capital of Jamaica. This latest incident, it took place yesterday afternoon, Friday, August 26, 2022, about some minutes to 6 o'clock. It took place at a bar at Namprel Road, right across from the Texaco gas station in Negril, in the parish of Westmoreland. We are learning that a man, his name is Lamar Smith. He was popularly known as Pops. Pops, he was 25 years old and he lived at Namprel Road in Negril in the parish of Westmoreland. We are told that Pops, he was standing in front of a bar when a white Toyota Axio motor car drove up and stopped. White Toyota Axio again. Three hoodlums jumped out of the white Toyota Axio. They were all armed with guns. The hoodlums, they approached Pops and opened a barrage of gunshots at him. Pops was hit in his head and his upper body. Pops, he collapsed and fell to the ground. The hoodlums, feeling satisfied that they have accomplished their mission, they then jumped back into the white Toyota Axio and made good their escape. From all indication, Pops, he died on the spot. The police were called and when they arrived on the scene, Pops was seen lying on his back on the ground at the front of the bar. When this crime scene was processed, we are told that 10 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick Silver Sin. Jamaica, criminals them a mash up Jamaica. Jamaica, 
them start pumping. Bloodshed, what a shame, what a shame. But me want me country back, give me me country back. Cry with a mash up Jamaica. Give me not them a mash up Jamaica. Jamaica's mash up Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica. Cry with a mash up Jamaica. Give me not them a mash up Jamaica. Jamaica's mash up Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica. Jamaica, Jamaica, the land of the sun. Jamaica, we come now, the land of the gun. East and north and south, when we turn. Country and town, man, I pay blood and run. Murder, don't you be a bit me here, them a murder. Cut it out, tell them you're gonna murder. Man, I dead like.